overall, I thought the whole process worked out pretty well. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm trying this out. Some difficult uh, filming conditions. I've got birds chirping, a windy day. I got a baby over there, and I got a lot I'm trying to cover. I got the main camera. I also have the GoPro going, just in case the main camera doesn't cut it. Today, I'm gonna to try to clean these Triple White Ultra Boosts with this CREP cleaning system. This is the CREP Cure cleaning system. I really don't know anything about it. I went to finish line. I asked them, how do I clean my shoes? They gave me this thing, and uh, so we're gonna give it a shot. All right, so on the inside of this thing are the instructions. It does come in a case, which I think is nice. The price I paid for this was $18 uh, at the mall. You've got a uh, microfiber cloth. You've got the cleaning solution, and you got a hog hair brush. They, in all their, in, something that's not coming across on the camera is just how buggy it is, it's crazy. But anyway, it's something that they put multiple times in their marketing materials, that this is hog hair. I don't know why that's important. And then more paperwork on the inside. Case is actually pretty nice. It's a good way to keep your stuff um, put away when you're not using it. All right, so let's get this going. Get the water. Get this dipped in the water. solution on here. All right. Get it re-dipped and start scrubbing. I'm going to start, well first thing I probably should do is take off the shoelaces. All right, I'm going to do one shoe at a time. See how it goes. Uh, I'll probably start on the bottom and work my way up. So that's the bottom of the shoe. Now I'm gonna tackle this area. The main area that I'm concerned with with these shoes is the tips of the toes. I don't really mind how the rest of the shoe looks. I think it looks fine, um, a little bit worn in, except for right here. And this will be a tricky spot because there's a lot of cloth. And then right here at the toe, it just never gets clean. And it's really just obvious, and this actually bothers me a little bit, that it's kind of messy. So we're gonna see how that does. Maybe we get a little bit more solution on here. Yep, I'm cleaning the shoes. Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I think this is about as clean as I can get these. Oh yeah, can you be quiet for just a second? I'm gonna, I see, I'll kiss it in just a second. I'll kiss, I'll kiss your boo-boo in just a second. So I think this is about as clean as I can get these shoes. They could probably get a little bit cleaner, but I'm just not meticulous enough for this kind of thing. Uh, the results are pretty good. I'm impressed with this. Um, I'm not sure how important the cleaning solution is or anything like that. I think maybe just soapy water and a brush would have done just as well. I'm going to maybe give it a second pass, do a little bit more uh, cleaning on here. But the thing that I'm a little disappointed is in the tip right here. I still think it's really discolored. I don't think it's going to get much better. Uh, it looks like I might even be damaging some of the material, so I might be able to get it a little bit cleaner, but uh, at the risk of um, damaging the shoe. And that's like my biggest concern is I don't want to end up doing more damage than help in terms of uh, getting these shoes attempted to be clean. I like them a little bit dirty. It's a sign uh, that I'm using them. It's a badge of honor. And so uh, I was really just concerned about this kind of dirt spot. I thought it was a little bit weird looking. Um, and unfortunately, it didn't really come out. But 
I'll try it with the other shoe. We'll see how we do. We'll let them dry and we'll take a look at them again tomorrow. It's been a couple hours. I let the shoes dry out. This is what they look like. They turned out pretty good. Uh, there's still a lot of discoloration at the top. I thought that, I hope that uh, as they dried out, I let them kind of cook in the sun a little bit in the summertime heat here. Uh, I hope that maybe some of the, the staining and discoloration would kind of cook out. That was my hope. Uh, that didn't quite happen. All around the rest of the shoe, I'm relatively pleased with how it, how it did, how it turned out. Uh, overall, I don't this, think this, this is something that I'm gonna do regularly. A lot of you have talked about running these things through the washing machine. I may give that a try, but likely what I'll probably do is once I'm ready to retire these guys, I do love the way that these shoes look. I love, I love wearing them. Once I retire these shoes and convert them into kind of a uh, casual shoe only, at that point, I might try running through them through the washing machine to see how that goes. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, these are like a daily runner. I'm gonna run in these shoes. I can't be washing them like every other day. And so uh, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Overall, I thought the whole process worked out pretty well. I'm guessing if I cleaned them more regularly and didn't let them get as discolored as this, I could probably kind of preemptively prevent some of the worst discoloration from happening. But that's not really my style. Uh, and I would say that's the tip. If you do wanna wear these casually and you wanna keep them super crisp, then the thing that you got to do is you got to keep them clean somewhat regularly. You can't let it go too far uh, before you try to get them clean. But uh, this was an interesting little experiment. I really wasn't planning on doing it, but you guys asked for it. So I wanted to make sure I had something for what you guys wanted to see. And uh, here it is.